Okay, the next tool that we're going to look at here is stratification. Stratification is important to us because oftentimes we will have big long lists of data um, like our Super Bowl um, winners that we have here. So you have big long lists of Super Bowl winners and you can kind of try to look at this data and say you know which of the which of the NFL teams has won the most Super Bowls? Well you can find that you know by going through and counting up each one of them and if you're a Dallas fan you may start there and you start counting up and trying to figure it out. However one very quick way for stratification uh, of your data is to use a pivot table. So if you go into your data, data uh, highlight the data that we're looking at here and here I'm just left clicking and dragging and once I've finished dragging to the bottom um, we're going to go back up here and you, you can see that that's where our data is. Go up to the top toolbar click on insert pivot table it comes in and says what data are we looking at uh, I've already highlighted it so it's telling us here you could select it later if you wanted to the next option is do you want to put it in as a new worksheet or in an existing worksheet um, if we put it as an into a new worksheet it's just going to open up a, a new location uh, another sheet for us however if we click existing worksheet we can come over and, and click somewhere in the current sheet and it says, hey, this is where I want to put the data. Uh, so I've done that in this case here. I click OK. And at that point, we have a, um, uh, a, a GUI window pop up over here for us just to be able to drag and drop information. This is where our data is going to pop up. These are the things that matter to us. I can either set it up in column format, row format, we know that the only data that we have right now is winner. So if I left click winner and just drag it down to rows, you will see whenever I put row in, it takes and gathers every individual uh, team that's out there. Now then if we go back up and left click on winner, and now let's bring it down to values. Under values, you can see that now it says what's the count. Back over to this from a quick look. Dallas has won five Super Bowls. Um, is that the most important, or is that, that the highest number? And I'm looking here. Um, looks like New England's won five as well there. So uh, there's our data. The only thing that could change here is oftentimes the pivot table is going to make a decision for you on what you want in this. Um, say you don't want count. Say sometimes you may want average in there. Uh, if you right click, or I'm sorry, if you left click on the little down arrow, you can go to value field settings. And under value field settings, count was what it chose for us, but you could choose average, max, min, product, whatever else it is. Okay, anyway, that is the, uh, that's the way we put in a pivot table, and that's the start of uh, uh, a stratification.